Hello, I'm Roger Sheely, Rangeland Weed Ecologist with the Agricultural Research Service and the Eastern Oregon Agricultural Research Center, and I'm here to present an Eastern Oregon Ag Minute. Many of you have heard about Medusa Head, a very serious grass that's rapidly invading and ruining our rangelands, and some of you may be struggling with how to manage it. A group of land managers, owners, and scientists from around the five adjoining states have identified Medusa Head as the most serious weed in the region. This group formed the Medusa Head Challenge. The challenge developed a comprehensive management plan for Medusa Head that we are trying to implement. Researching new ways of managing Medusa Head is an essential part of the plan and has been the top weed priority for the ARS at the experiment station. This week I'd like to discuss some of the ideas and ways we are researching on how to improve our management of Medusa Head. I think you'll agree that we're doing some very exciting work that will help in the battle against this weed. This week we're talking about the ongoing research being done on how to better manage Medusa Head infested rangeland. The experiment station has about 22 research projects on Medusa Head management. These tests can be lumped into three categories. They are preventing uninfested areas from becoming infested, managing rangeland with Medusa head infestations where desired vegetation is still available to respond to treatment, and restoring Medusa head infested rangeland. With respect to prevention, our work is aimed at determining the grazing systems, that is the timing, intensity, and frequency of grazing good condition rangelands to keep the plant strong and healthy enough to keep Medusa head out. We're also determining which groups of species compete most directly with Medusa head so these plants can be encouraged during management. Once this information is known, we will provide grazing guidelines for keeping areas not infested with Medusa head from becoming infested. One category of research being conducted on Medusa head is how to effectively treat infestations where they have not completely wiped out all of the desired species. We are conducting studies that tell us, one, how much desired species do we actually need for the area to be a high priority for controlling Medusa head using plateau, and two, how much forage will we get from the spray and how long will it last? This information is critical in determining how much we can spend controlling this weed before it will make us go broke. Herbicides are not the only useful tool, though. We are trying to develop grazing management strategies for using and managing Medusa head as well. We are also searching for biological controls for Medusa head. In the long run, we should probably only spray new patches of Medusa head and those areas where enough good plants are still present to regain the site and graze those areas where Medusa head is totally dominant. This week we're talking about research being conducted on Medusa head. Areas where Medusa head has totally displaced the desired vegetation and Medusa head is like a carpet will require some form of reseeding or restoration. So the experiment station has developed a fairly comprehensive series of studies on revegetating Medusa head infested rangeland. We are testing the single entry system where a sprayer is mounted on a rangeland drill and the range is simultaneously sprayed and seeded. This should really reduce the cost of reseeding Medusa head infested rangeland. We are also testing the idea of island seeding, where seed source islands are established in the middle of Medusa head infestations. Then, management focuses on encouraging the seeds to spread across the landscape. To be successful with Medusa head, we will need to find new ways of getting good plants reestablished. The experiment station has about 22 ongoing projects on Medusa head management. These tests can be lumped into three categories, prevention, management, and restoration. But we also work with landowners and managers to implement the most state-of-the-art Medusa head management programs. We have facilitated 10 working groups across eastern Oregon and helped them to develop plans for managing Medusa head. We work with these groups to help them get funding and implement the plans. We also have several seeding demonstrations across the region and we work with the Circle Bar Ranch to provide a state-of-the-art ranch scale demonstration of managing Medusa head. I hope that you can see the experiment station is very active in developing new ways of managing the invasion of our rangelands by Medusa Head. I'm Roger Sheely. Have a great weekend.